So in this video we're going to be learning how to add our infinite scrolling to our social network series because at the minute you can see if I scroll down we have all of our posts printed out and some of them are photos and we don't want to load data that we don't need to so we're going to only load data that the user can actually see and we're going to do that using our infinite scrolling system. So let's get started. So what we want to do is copy the code from our infinite scrolling video. So we're just going to copy this and we're going to paste it up above here. So we can get rid of this first Ajax request so we can delete the document.ready function and what we need is this window.scroll function. And whenever we scroll, what we want to do is send our Ajax request. So I'm going to copy the Ajax request from down here. And if you wanted to, you could put this in another function just to save yourself from copying and pasting. But I'm just going to copy it and paste it up here. So I'm going to go to this Ajax function and I'm just going to delete this and replace it with our old Ajax function. And in this function, what we're going to do is put in our timeout. So down here, after we succeed in getting our posts, what we're going to do is we're going to say start plus equals five to increase our starter. So we're gonna load five more posts next time. And then we're gonna say set timeout. We're gonna run our function once every 4,000 milliseconds. And we're gonna set working equal to false. Now what we wanna do is scroll up to our Ajax request. And we wanna to go to API slash profile posts, username equals username. And then we're gonna say and start equals start. I will have to scroll down and do that for our initial Ajax request. On our document already, we're going to put that in here. We'll actually say and start equals zero because down here we don't have a start variable. So at the minute, this function won't always work because our scroll to anchor function is going to throw a type error sometimes. It's going to throw a type error whenever we don't have an anchor tag in the URL. So to fix that, we just want to scroll down and surround this in a try catch block. Something like this. So we're going to open the API here, scroll down to profile posts, and we just need to modify our query. So what we're going to do when we order our posts by description, we're going to set limit five. Now, if I run this, you can see here's our page. Now, if I scroll down, you can see it worked. We loaded more posts, but we're loading the same posts over and over again at the moment. But if I keep scrolling, after four seconds, I can scroll and load some more. But you can see now it's working and our error is being printed out. It's not actually showing up in red. So that means it's not actually affecting the execution of our page. So now that we fix that, we can go back to the API. And after we set the limit equal to five, what we can do is we can set start equals get start, which is our start variable that we're passing into the API. And then we're going to set our offset in our query to whatever the value of start is. So in this case, it's just gonna be our start variable. I'm not gonna use the prepared statement. I'm going to cast the start variable to an integer. And that means that whatever value start has will always be converted to an integer. And if start isn't a number, it's gonna to default to zero. So we're not gonna have any MySQL injection. So now that we've done that, we can save it and it should work. But before we run it, we're gonna to go to profile and we're gonna set the default value of start equal to five because the first time the page loads, we're going to run our Ajax request and start's gonna equal zero. So what we wanna do whenever we we scroll for the first time is we want start to be equal to five. So if I save this and now if I refresh, you can see our scroll bar is not very big because we only have five posts. And if I scroll down, there's one, two, three, four, five posts. And now you can see we've loaded in the next set of five posts. Scroll down to the bottom. We're going to have to wait four seconds. Now if I scroll down now, we're getting the rest of our posts. I'm going to keep scrolling until we get all of our posts and that should be all of our posts loaded. So that's a really quick video explaining how to add infinite scrolling to our social network series. If you want, you can just copy this and replicate it onto the index page because we've only done it on the profile page. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe if you have any questions. Don't forget to email me at francis.hyco.org. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.